Good morning, my lovely students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's math class. And today we are going to learn a new lesson. That's why I want you to be ready. So get your mathematics book because we are going to use it. And now let's read the day and date. So who will help me today to read the day and date? I need your help. So everyone, what is the day? Wednesday. Well done. And what is the date? April 22, 2020. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, everyone, something else. I want you to put your hands in the air and to shout, Hooray! It's math time! So let's do it together. Put your hands in the air and you know what? Clap your hands three times and then shout, It's math time! So let's do it. Hands in the air. Clap your hands. How many times I said? Three times. Three times. One, two, three. Hooray! It's math time. So today, as I said to you so far, we have a new lesson. So this is the title of the lesson. Let's read the title together. Make bar graphs. Make bar graphs. Well done. So if you look over here, you can see a tally chart and also something else. You know what is it? It's the bar graph. Well done. This is the bar graph. And today we're going to learn about how to make a bar graph. Well done. So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to make bar graphs to show data. Here we go, mental math time. So everyone add these numbers together. Think carefully, please, and take your time. And now everyone, I want you to listen carefully because we are going to revise what we have learned in the previous lessons. We were talking about picture graph. Well done, a picture graph. As you can see, this is a picture graph. And what do you know about picture graphs? A picture graph uses pictures to show information collected. So, a picture graph has different pictures to show information collected. And as you can see, this is a picture graph and we uh, have learned how to analyze also the picture graph and to examine the data of the picture graph. So let's go and watch a video about bar graphs. So listen carefully everyone. Hello and thanks for joining me today guys. We are going to learn about bar graphs. If you look right here you can see that we have some fruit. I wanted to know what types of fruit my friends like. So I went out and asked my friends what fruit they like the most. Here you can see that I have tally marks to show how many of my friends liked which fruit most. You might know already, but a tally mark is a useful way to represent data. Each time a friend told me they liked a certain fruit, I would put a tally mark under that fruit to keep track of how many people liked that fruit. Now we will put all this information that I have gathered into a bar graph. A bar graph is another way to represent data. It is a lot like a picture graph, but without the pictures or symbols. Here is our graph, but the first thing we need to do with any graph is what? We need a title. Since the information we collected was on favorite fruits, let's call it favorite fruit. With this graph, I want to put the names of the fruit on the bottom and the numbers on the left side going up. We can see here on the bottom, we have the names of the fruits. We should label what these are. This is obviously going to be labeled fruit since they're fruit. 
On the side, we need to measure how many people liked these different types of fruit. We only need to go up to six since our information or tally marks only go up to six. So the numbers going from one to six represent the amount of people. We can now fill out the graph according to our data. First in our data are the apples. We can see from the tally marks that two of my friends liked apples. So here on the graph, we will have this bar at the bottom go up two spots to show that two people liked apples. Okay, next we have oranges. How many people liked oranges? Good job! Three people liked oranges. So we move the bar up to where the three is. Now how many people liked pears? We had just one that liked pears, so the bar goes up just one. The last one is bananas. There were six people that liked bananas, so the bar goes all the way up to six. We now have an amazing bar graph that shows all of our data that I collected about what is the favorite fruit to eat. With this graph, it is easier to read and interpret the information. For example, I can see that only one person liked pears. Now that's interesting. Can you tell me what fruit was the most popular? We can tell from the graph that bananas were the most popular. Can you guys tell me how many more people liked bananas than oranges? Looking at the graph, we see that six people liked bananas and three people liked oranges. Counting up the graph from three oranges, we count one, two, three spots. There are three more people that liked bananas instead of oranges. Okay, so what do you see everyone? What do we call this? A tally chart. A tally chart. Why do we call it a tally chart? Because it uses tally marks. Well done, because we use the tally marks to show the data. So, look at the tally chart. What we are going to do is to transfer the data from the tally chart to the bar graph. Well done. So, let's start talking about what does the tally chart show. Favorite breakfast food. Favorite breakfast food. So, here, can you help me read what's written here? Toast. Toast. Cereal. Egg. Well done. So, how many people voted for toast? Four people voted for toast. Four. And for cereal? Five people voted for cereal. And for eggs? Two people voted for egg. Excellent. Now, let's move the data to the bar graph. Well done. We have two ways. One of them, uh, we can color horizontally or vertically. So, what we are going to do here is to color one box. You should color one box to show one vote. So, here, there are four people voted for toast. So, you are going to color. Let's go to toast here. It's over here. So, we are going to color four. Where is the toast? Here. One. I'll try to color. I'm going to use something else. So, one, two, three, four. And how many people voted for cereal? Five. Five. I'm going to change the color. So we're going to color five boxes. Because as I said to you, you should color one box to show the data. Here, five and one, two, three, four, five. And finally, how many people voted for eggs? Two people. So we're going to color one, two. 
let's go to the other one we're gonna do the same we're gonna color one box to show what everyone to show one vote so here how many people voted for toast four so we're gonna color one two three four for cereal five one two three four five and for eggs two excellent one two and here we go here we go please everyone open page 550 and write the day and date don't forget to write the day and date so as you can as you can see everyone here is a tally chart and here is a bar graph so what we are going to do is to transfer the data from the tally chart to the bar graph well done so my first question is what does a tally chart show it shows favorite muffin well done so are you ready to transfer the data from the tally chart to the picture graph yes okay but something else how do you decide how many boxes to color in the bar graph how you are going to decide for example look here four people voted for blueberry and two people voted for strawberry and one person voted for lemon and five people voted for cherry well done so you're gonna color the same number as here so here for example the total is four it's written blueberry and here blueberry so you're gonna color four, four boxes. well done so let's color four boxes okay here we go so one two three four boxes let's go to the strawberry how many people for strawberry? two people so how many boxes we will color two one two and for lemon one so we're gonna color only one box and for for cherry five one two three four five are you following everyone so you can use a colored pencil or pencil if you want it's up to you okay now let's move to page 551 turn the page and let's start okay as you can see this is a tally chart and this is a bar graph so what we're going to do is to transfer the data from the tally chart to the bar graph okay first of all let's write the total over here so what does the tally chart and the bar graph show color of shirt color of shirt well done so how many people voted for the red shirt four four and how many people voted for the blue one six and how many people voted for the black shirt two two and for the green shirt five five well done so everyone let's transfer the data to the paragraph what we're going to do is to color the boxes the boxes as i said to you each box shows one tally mark so as you can see the total here is four right so we're gonna 
shade or color for foxes. One, two, three, four. And for the blue shirt, six. So let's color one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, six. Well done. And for the black shirt, two. One, two. two. And for the green shirt, five. One, one two, two, three, four, five. five. Well done, everyone. Let's move to question number three. As you can see, this is a tally chart and this is a bar graph. And what we are going to do is to transfer the data from the tally chart to the bar graph. So let's start doing this, everyone. I need your help. So what does the tally chart and the picture graph show? Left-handed or right-handed? Well done. So how many people voted for left-handed? Four. Four people. And for the right-handed? Six. Excellent. So let's transfer the data to the bar graph. As you can see, it's written here, left-handed, and here also left-handed. So we're going to transfer the data over here. So how many boxes we're going to color? Four. One, two, three, three four. four. And for the right-handed, how many six. boxes? Excellent, six. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Amazing. Good work, everyone. I am so proud of you. After writing and solving all the questions, come and enjoy the game. Click on the following link to play the game about paragraphs. Thank you everyone and please upload your answers in your portfolio in ClassDojo and have a nice day. Bye bye everyone.